guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're gonna to be talking about something very interesting something we have been shying away from and i keep wondering for how long are we gonna shy away from this but in this video i am not shying away from this and we're gonna talk about this we're gonna be talking about sex education yeah sex education and before we continue i want to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you're gonna get more and more of this thank you Head of parents withdrawing their children and words from schools any moment they, they discover that you know sex education is talked about or their children come back home to tell them that they are being taught about sex they think you're protecting the morality of a child by preventing him or her from you know learning anything about sex if you prevent him from you know, knowledge about sex he will not only remain incapacitated, he will keep on being incapacitated because these things are things they should know. Now, imagine a, a, a teenage boy removing the pant off, you know, his teenage sister and having sex with the teenage sister and he does that without even knowing. He does that without knowing that that is his sister. Of course, he knows that they are, they are blood relations, but he never knew that having sex with a sister is a bad thing. It's called incense. You know, sex with a, a family member, of course, is known as incense. And now that child does it unconsciously without even knowing the implications. Do you think if you have talked to the child that what he is doing is actually wrong, do you think the child will actually indulge in it? I doubt it. Now, the little girl in which they did it together did not even do anything about it. That's because she does not even know that it is wrong. Probably they think it's one of the play they play. They think it's one of those things they do at kids. Now, this is to tell you that as long as you keep hiding these things from your child, as long as you keep preventing them from knowing about sex education, as long as you prevent them from educating them about what they need to know about their psychological makeup, about their you know reproductive system, they will keep on getting injured. Now, do you think that if you actually told your 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 your, your four-year-old child that when an uncle comes to you to touch your parent or when an uncle comes to you to touch you in your private part it means the uncle does not love you you think by the time you tell that child like that and then the child comes and when it happens you think the child will not come to tell you do you think the child will, will not run away the whole lot of importance in sex education now what is sex education Sex education is simply calling your child in a layman's language. It's simply calling your teenage child, not even your before the child gets to the teenagehood, or calling your little child. As long as you know the child can now understand from between good and bad, calling the child, telling the child about her makeup, telling the child about things that she should know about her sexual system, about her reproductive system and then giving the child advice on what to do when things like um, bad uncles come around, bad aunties come around, what they should do, telling them to report to you when stuff like that happens. Now, we need to remember that the, the way we talk to them differs. You know, when it's a little child, you, you don't have to, you know, bombard them with a lot of, you know, talks about sex education. There are, you know, mild way you talk to them about these things. Probably run away from telling them these things because of, you know, you don't want to expose them to, you know, the, the organs of the body, you know, what this is called, what that is called. For some reasons, I'm not going to be mentioning those things, you know, in this video. But of course, because little children are also going to be watching this. And then, but we cannot run away from that. Instead of running away from sex education totally, there are words, you know, you can devise in order to talk about these things. You know, in my project, I'm actually writing a project and my project is, you know, conceptualization of sexual intercourse using the Bible as a case study. Now, in my project, I, 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 I try to look for words that the Bible has used to, you know, capture the issue of sexual intercourse and then I try to bring it down home. I try to, you know, um, look for alternate words that can be used to capture these things. Now, as parents, instead of running away totally from sex education, we could look for words, you know, words that can be used to, you know, convey a message without sounding so um, offensive and so erotic. So, one of the importance of, you know, sex education is that we enlighten our kids. When you teach your kids sex education, one, you're telling the kids that these are the parts of her body, these 
are the things that she's going to experience while she grows old as she keeps uh, you know growing not necessarily while she grows old you tell your child that especially your female child you tell your female child that as you're growing old very soon you're gonna be having a monthly flow of blood known as menstruation now I've had kids you know when it comes to all of a sudden they see that you know this blood is coming out from the private part they start crying they start um, um, producing an alarm they don't even know what it is all about that's ignorance of the highest order if as a mother you think it's a bad thing for you to sit your child down and then tell your child your female child that very soon you're gonna have a monthly flow you think telling your child is gonna spoil your child I tell you without if you do not tell your child these things you are creating more problem for her now imagine a child who doesn't even know about this goes to an uncle when this thing comes up without you not even knowing he goes to an uncle and tells the uncle especially when the uncle is a bad one we have many bad uncles around now the child goes to an uncle and tells the uncle that uncle i don't know this blood is coming out from my private part i don't know what it is now don't you think that uncle can actually take advantage of that child and the moment the child start menstruating the child you know can get impregnated that is when you know the sexual activity of a thing becomes more active and when that happens when your child is being raped your child has become a victim a victim of your ignorance a victim of the fact that you did not you know give this child the opportunity to know about her makeup Sex education is not a sin. We need to get that into our head. It is not a sin. It is doing your child a favor. We are not saying you should teach your child how to have to marry their sex. We are not saying you should teach your child how to, you know, go out there to look for a boy that's going to sex her. We are saying you should teach your child what happens to her body when she grow, when she keeps growing up, what happens to her body and how to react when dangerous people come around them. How can a child stay and then an uncle comes to, you know, touch a private part and she doesn't even do anything about it? She doesn't even report to you. Why? Because she doesn't feel there's anything wrong about it. But if you are those that child, giving that child a pro knowledge that when something happens this way, when a, a, an uncle comes to you to, you know, touch your private part, you need to run away. This is what sex education does to your children. Sex education teaches, teaches your child self-defense self defense in the sense that when things like that come they run away they don't just stay there ignorance is not an ex excuse for wrongdoing ignorance is not an excuse for, 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 for destroying your child so I think it is high time for us to you know take the bull by the horn go out there teach our young people what they need to do instead of running away from it I've spoken enough already um, if there's more you need to know you can you know comment on the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe because as time goes on I'm gonna be you know releasing more and more of some of these things that we shy away from because we need to you know teach our children our children need to know a lot now sex education should actually be incorporated in the education of our children in our schools don't just be interested in teaching your child mathematics in English because once your child is raped, she will not be able to understand the mathematics you're teaching her anymore. Once your child is deflowered, she will not be able to understand the English you're teaching your child. Now, sex education also helps your child to know that it is better to remain a virgin till he or she gets married. So you think it's all about teaching them how to you know have sex it is during sex education you tell your child that it is good to keep yourself because our body is the temple of the holy spirit and for it to remain the temple of the holy spirit we need to keep it holy we don't we don't need to have sex sex education teaches your child that there is std in premarital sex that when your child has Marital sex, the child is susceptible to HIV, is susceptible to gonorrhea, and all of those diseases that come as a result of sexual intercourse, especially when one is not married. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button, turn off the notification bell so that you're gonna get more and more of this. Thank you.